What is going on everybody? It is me, the one and only Mikey Masker, and I am here with the always awesome Audrey. Hey guys! And today we're going to be opening up this Sideways Ultra Beast GX. We got this thing sideways because if I turn it here, you can hardly see any of it. And if I leave it this way, you can kind of see things. I mean, you see them? I mean, you can kind of see all the packs and everything in here. I just, it just doesn't fit in my camera. It just doesn't fit on the screen. It's too big. So that is why I have it uh, sideways, which it's now turned the other way. And that is because I want to explain a little bit to you about it. I mean, as you can see, we are going to get two GXs in here. If you read right here, it says includes two never before seen Ultra Beast cards, which is that uh, Celestiella and the uh, Feramosa, I guess. I mean, I'm kind of like a little uh, tongue tied when it comes to these names. I tried my hardest to find a better one of these because I know that there were some of these that actually had Crimson Invasion packs like right here and these don't have Crimson Invasion packs these got Burning Shadows right here with uh, Guardians Rising, the Sun and Moon and the Evolutions and also I've heard on a lot of people's videos that these cards were bent and yes you can see them this card right here is bent it's mm -hmm. kind of pushed in right around in this area right here going right through there and right here it's kind of pushed in right here you can't really tell but when I pull it out of there you will see what I'm talking about we got a play mat right here and we have the jumbo card right here so you know what I've done talked about it too much um yeah so awesome 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 look right there in the back you can kind of see what all you're getting in here that play mat does look pretty awesome though I mean who doesn't love a play mat I love play mats. We love getting these play mats. I mean, we're starting to get a collection of these play mats with all the clay mats that we got. So, man, it's a big box. These things are going for about like 50 bucks at a uh, Target. It's worth it, right? I mean, I spent. I mean, I spent the money on it, so obviously I think it's worth it. But very nice. Nothing special about this. See, I liked how when we got the. Uh, Team Skull, we had an awesome artwork right here. This is just plain orange, like a uh, dawn sky or something like that, I guess you can call it. But let's go ahead, open this up, send it down. Oh, don't mess up the cards. Please don't mess up the cards. Okay, not bad. So how are we gonna get these out? How are we gonna get them out? Uh, oh. They just kind of come out of there. That one just popped out of there. And let's get the coin. Yep, these things are pretty much a little warped. See? They all work. But the thing is, there is no damage to the card. Take a good look at the card. If you can focus. Yeah, see? There is no damage to the card. Everything is actually pretty good on it. It's just, it is a little bit warped because of how they put that in there. Let me see the other one. Thank you. Mm -hmm. See, this one's pretty much the same way. It's, yeah. This one's actually not that bad with the warpness to it. Warpness, I don't even know if that's actually a ward. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I dig that. I like that a lot. Uh, go ahead and take out the jumbo card right there. Put that in the back. So that we can have Big Daddy, well, Big Mama and uh, the child there. We got some uh, Face Collide, Steam Siege. We have a uh, Burning Shadows, Sun and Moon, another Burning Shadows. We got, they didn't even cut that. I don't even know what that is. Uh, Guardians Risings, Evolutions, and we got the Guardians Risings again. We have what everybody comes here for the most. The code card right there. And we have a... Throw that out the way. Oh! Lord. <laughs> and we got a very nice play mat right here. Ultra Beast right there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, I guess for this video, we will just put that play mat down real quick. Right in the very front. And we will use it. Let's see. Uh, yeah. May leave that here for a little bit. I actually got Paramosa in a Wonder Trade, and I was like, what is this bug thing? And, uh, and then I was like, it's an Ultra Beast. Yeah. Oh, here's the coin real quick of <laughs> uh, the uh, Paramosa. 
Is that a play on for like a drink? For like a mimosa or like a bug mimosa drink? I wonder if it is. Um, Never know. So. But anyways, you know what? Here are our packs right here. We have the two Burning Shadows, the two Guardians Risings, a Sun and Moon, Steam Siege, Face Collide, and Evolutions. So we're going to go with Evolutions first because that's just not... Eh. And then I like Fates Collide a little bit more than Steam Siege. But then if I had my way, I would probably put Sun and Moon first. But we're just going to do... We're just going to do a very strange order like that. So that's how we're going to open up these packs. Like I said, first one, Evolutions. It's not that I hate Evolutions. It's just there's nothing in Evolutions for me anymore. Dunn collected a set of Evolutions of the whole set in regular form and in reversed foil form. So That's my favorite set. Yeah. We'll get a Kakuna, Charmeleon, Professor Oak's Hint, Doduo, uh -huh. a Star U, Onyx, Fairy Energy, Voltorb, Reverse Hollow Sandshrew, and a Dugong. So the normal type of uh, Evolutions pack right there. Nothing in it. Um, I saw how you looked at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got a Steam Siege pack coming up next. Let's see. Can we get something good with Steam Siege? Steam Siege is good. Steam Siege is a pretty good one. I actually enjoyed Steam Siege a lot. One to do four on that one. Good thing I stopped myself. <laughs> so we got a Tang Growth, a Special Charge, a Sheldon, a Ashawat, Krogunk, Tangula, Dieno, a Chimchar, Jumpluff, Reverse Hollow, wait. Xerneas? What? I think you did. I think you. No, we didn't get our Reverse Hollow in this. What? Yeah. Yeah, we didn't get a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 with no reverse hollow. Huh, that's like the time with the Dini card. See, we got the hollow Xerneas uh -huh. and we got the rare, regular rare jump fluff instead. We didn't get a reverse hollow in this. So, yeah. Okay then. So, uh, we got an error pack right there and. Really wasn't that special at all. Was kind of hoping for something special, but yeah. Anyways, Fates Collide. The only thing that I really want within Fates Collide, because I already have everything within this, are more ends. So as long as I get an N in here, I am fine. An N? Yes, an N trainer card. That's all I want. Oh. So we got a Duosian, Kangaskhan, Chinchino, Jigglypuff, Ooh. Deerling, Riolu, Snubble, Binacle, Reverse Hollow Seal, and a Moltres. Didn't even get it in. Got junk in there. Wow, three packs of junk, really, pretty much. The Xerneas was all right, but yeah, at least we got one, two, three, four, five more packs. Sun and Moon. High hopes for Sun and Moon? I think not. No. Never have any high hopes for Sun and Moon, really. And that is why. Just don't see anything good within Sun and Moon anymore. It's just one of those sets that I just don't like. So we got Team Skull, Grunt, Persimian, Great Ball, Makuhita, Caterpie, Paris, Young Goose, Shelter, Lantern, Reverse Hollow, and a Cosmoem. There was a time when I had a hard time getting Cosmoem, and now I get it all the time from that. Really? Yeah, so I remember Cosmoem was like one of the regular rare cards that I just had a hard time getting and just could never get, and now I just can't stop getting it. On to the Guardians Risings. This is going to suck if we actually don't get nothing within this. And we're not going to get nothing in here at all. And, you know, spending the money on a box like this and not getting anything is really, really bad. So, Watchhog, Rescue Stretcher, Pseudo Wudo, Chansey, Petalil, Helptile, a Wishy Washy, Nose Pass, Reverse Hollow Machop, and a Turtonator. <laughs> 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 Do, 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 do. <laughs> you know what would be funny to ask people? Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. What? What are my favorite Pokemon? What are your favorite Pokemon? Everybody's probably going to think, maybe, Pokepee. <laughs> wow. So it looks like we wasted our money on this box so far. Unless those Burning Shadows got something really awesome in it. 
we just wasted a good fifty dollars on this. Dang it! Wow. You know what? Just like it's like I've had. We've had better luck in uh, Crimson Invasion, which people have been complaining about the pull rates being so bad in Crimson Invasion. And this, which had 10 packs in it, sucked. <laughs> I mean, it sucked. Oh, wow. So, Porygon 2, a Charmeleon, Wobbuffet, Krogunk, Pikachu, Panpour. A Cutie Fly, Magikarp, Vile Plume, Reverse Hollow, followed up with a Rhyperior, regular. I mean, uh, Hollow. I'm just so used to getting the regular rares and everything, the junk within this. So, last pack. Maybe we can get some pack magic going on right here. Who knows? Marshadow. We all know that I just can't stop getting Marshadows. I know that's Marshadow. Oh, it's great. It's always good enough to see that, to see... A green code card, which, why even bother? Meow stick, lichen rock, and junk. <laughs> so, <laughs> and junk, all pretty much bulk. Let's put it that way. So, this was a big fail right here, pretty much. I hope that everybody enjoys this big fail of ours right here of this um, Ultra Beast GX box. There's still one more of these that we're going to go get. And, of course, we're going to get it just so that we can get our promo cards in there. But, yeah, the only thing good enough in here that we got were the two promo cards. Yep. So that is it. This box was pretty much just a major bust. Yep. For us. But anyways, we hope that y'all enjoyed this epic fail of a video that we have for y'all. Make <laughs> sure you leave a like for the failness in it. And yeah, if you like the fail, also subscribe. Because <laughs> there's probably more fails to come in the future. But anyways, that is it for this video. We hope that y'all enjoyed the epic fail. I am Mikey Masker. With me is the always awesome Audrey. Bye guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well if you're new here. To enjoy some more awesome Pokemon card related content or epic fails. We are both out of here. Y'all have a nice, wonderful day or night. Peace.